Welcome, my little YouTubing AP students, to the first set of vocabulary words from Chapter 1, Unit 1. The words that we're going to be talking about today are the Paleolithic Age, the Neolithic Age, and the Neolithic Revolution. These three words go hand in hand. Uh, they all relate to one another because we can talk about what human beings were doing uh, before and after the Neolithic Revolution here, which is also a question that you have. So you can kind of cheat and kill two birds with one stone, or at least uh, severely maim them. So the first word that we have is the Paleolithic Age. The definition of that is that it is the old Stone Age when people were using very simple tools and were mostly in nomadic societies. So what? Why do we care? Well, what people accomplished during this time is that they were able to migrate throughout all corners of the earth. Because they were hunters and gatherers, they were nomadic, means they followed the food. All they did was try to hunt down animals that were moving in natural migratory patterns. They were also trying to collect as much grains and vegetables and fruits and nuts that they could uh, where it was growing in the wild. So they had political organization, meaning they had usually leaders of their small tribes. They were usually very small groups of people, not larger than 100 or 200 people per band. And they, they, they did not practice any form of agriculture, nor had they mastered uh, any form of writing for the most part. They did have religion. They did have political organization. Uh, they did have social structure, although for the most part, males and females were on equal status because they both did jobs that were equally important to the tribe, and uh, these people kind of spread out throughout the world. Then we had the Neolithic Age. The Neolithic Age is defined as the time period when humans started using agriculture or farming in order to produce a surplus of food. So Neolithic peoples were the first ones who figured out during the Stone Age uh, that they could plant foods in one spot and they could grow those foods in the same spot year after year. They didn't have to wander around. So what they would do is they would settle, for the most part, near fresh water sources, uh, usually rivers. So our first civilizations were near river sources because it was nice fresh water for farming. And they would create food year after year by farming. They would also domesticate animals. Um, and so they had a much higher control of their food source, their meat being the animals that they shepherded and would slaughter and, and take care of, and then their grains and vegetables being the food that they were growing. And so uh, the big deal was, and this, this is where we get into the term the Neolithic Revolution, it was a revolution and it was so revolutionary because it led to civilized people. The Neolithic Revolution was the beginning of civilized society. And civilized society, which is a word we're going to look at later on when we, when we take a look at civilization, is when people started to settle down in cities. They had a surplus of food, and they were able to create um, more complex political structures, more complex religious divisions, more complex and sometimes unfair social divisions, meaning men and women, upper class and lower class. None of that really existed in the Paleolithic age because everybody was somewhat e equal except for the chief or the leader um, because everybody was basically worried about just surviving. So if we put this into terms that you might understand with today's society, we live in a post-Neolithic uh, society, meaning that I, do, I can specialize in one thing now. I am a teacher. I teach students. I don't have to farm. Uh, other people farm, and I get food from them. So we live in a society where I don't have to worry 100% of the time about where I'm getting my food. In the Paleolithic Age, that was basically what was on everybody's mind from the moment they woke up until the moment they went to bed was where they were going to get enough food. Neolithic Age and the Neolithic Revolution is when they started to see a surplus of food, more dense populations, um, and a greater uh, reliance on agriculture, controlled growing of foods. So those are the major differences. We'll talk a little bit more about this in class, and I hope this helps you in your studies. Remember to be awesome.